So Your Eminence was asked to present uh, this year's Driving Dairy Innovation in Amsterdam. Uh, our presentation looked at different growth markets in the dairy industry, also looking at markets that are contracting and therefore adding value in dairy products becomes very important in order to boost sales here. At present, the main uh, topic of the conference was protein and how it can actually add value into the dairy industry. And the presentations, they range from looking at protein as an added ingredient and therefore the challenges involved in enhancing protein levels in a dairy product. Now, some of the presentations looked at trying to mask the bitter flavor of protein, such as trying to encapsulate protein in order to avoid the protein being released in the mouth and therefore causing a bitter flavor. We also looked at the other end of the spectrum, how claiming high protein levels is actually perceived by the consumer and if it really does add value. Um, now, obviously protein can carry lots of health claims ranging from immune support, digestive problems, but also looking at bone and joint health. Now, this wide application makes it an, a great ingredient to fortify products with, but also because dairy is already seen as a natural source of protein. Um, therefore, we're seeing lots of product launches claiming higher levels of protein within the dairy sector. So many companies now have jumped on a protein bandwagon. So we're seeing lots of new product launches claiming to have 50% more protein than any other products out there. And the industry is at risk of this added ingredient uh, to become the industry norm rather than something that adds value in itself. And Nestle, for example, they claim that the entire confectionery line contained no artificial flavors, colors, or preservatives. And therefore that was an added value uh, back in those days. However, now, if you look at confectionery products on the product shelves, you can't find a product that's not claiming the same message. Uh, even private label is carrying this message. So as such, it's become the industry norm. So rather than just uh, claiming increased levels of protein, uh, brands should look at targeting specific consumer groups, uh, such as the aging population, and adjust the formulation and message accordingly. For example, uh, enhancing a dairy product with both protein as well as omega-3, good for brain health, um, in products that are already consumed quite heavily by the aging consumer group, such as puddings or milk. So, And this product also lends itself to be sold not only through supermarkets, but also uh, through unconventional channels, or such as uh, the independent small shops, also looking at institutions such as uh, hospitals or uh, nursing homes.